Well, before there was the coronavirus pandemic, there was the opioid epidemic. Now, the crisis may have slipped from the headlines as we face so many other serious issues in 2020, but the heroin epidemic has not gone away. It certainly hasn't, and tonight we're bringing you the story of one person who's been on the front lines, helping those suffering from addiction. His story is remarkable because he, too, had a heroin habit. In spreading his message, he reached everyone from other drug users to police chiefs and our own investigative reporter, Mike Perlstein. William Poole Jr. played many roles, entrepreneur, community leader, and most of all, devoted father and husband. People have no idea how big his dreams were, like how, how he helped me think next level. My life consists of drugs and more drugs, needles with heroin in it. I used to run it through my veins. Pray to the devil if he would help get me some dope. I'm out of control. I'm a bomb waiting to blast. Many times I felt like... On October 27th, his addiction took his life. Will was found in his van next to a convenience store. Next to him was a daiquiri, one of his weaknesses. But no, at the bottom of that cup, there's going to be a needle. Medical studies have shown that addicts can relapse over the slightest trigger, even a single sip of alcohol. If I shoot any more dope, I'm going to die. So he was really trying to avoid that one last time because he knew that one last time it'd be it for him. Yeah, and he, it was, it was devastating. I was a wreck as I know everyone was because he was so strong for all of us. I got to know Will myself, first through a news story and then as a friend. He was never ashamed to call himself an addict. Several arrests jail time, stretches in rehab, periods of living on the street, revived from near-death overdoses. William Poole pulled from all those experiences to help others through his nonprofit organization, Addiction Matters. Uh, just a tremendous, a tremendous force, tremendous spirit. Uh, we miss him. Addiction matters. I take this so serious because I know all it takes for me is one wrong choice. The Addiction Matters logo draped his coffin. What we're doing is trying to change the drug epidemic. As I look forward and I see these children right here, this, are our, this is our future. This is what I'm fighting for. Through the sheer force of his optimism, Will's efforts were championed by everyone from former New Orleans Police Chief Michael Harrison to ex-U.S. Attorney Kenneth Polite. I know chiefs of police that were guests, the head of FBI, the head of DEA, a number of community activists in this space um, were all guests on that, on that show, and it just showed the power of his personality. I became a part of the Addiction Matters family. Renee Duguay posted about her addiction on Facebook. Not only did Will respond, he talked to her every single day for 40 days of healing. Then suddenly, he was gone. You know, the sobbing, the, the pain, the because I felt there was, a, there was a level of guilt. A week later, Duguay honored Will with her own permanent memorial. I got a tattoo, and it says willpower. Criminal court judge Franz Ziblich presided over the case that ended in Will's conviction for heroin possession. Like many people who are just starting in drug court, he slipped, he fell, he lied, he was in denial. But it was amazing to me there was some sort of metamorphosis at some point in time with William. When I did the eulogy for his funeral, he was a magnet. You know, he walked in a room, people wanted to be with him. Earlier this year, Will started a courier service. He delivered food to needy New Orleanians during the COVID shutdown. He brought supplies to hurricane victims in Lake Charles. He was scheduled to make a delivery to Florida hurricane victims at the end of September. He never made it. The devil, that disease of addiction, it had me by my feet, dragging me through the streets. Many nights I've cried, gotten on my knees, begging God, please take this addiction away from me. Darlene looks back at 20 years of heaven and hell, celebrations and regrets. But in the end, she said she wouldn't trade her experience for anything. I wouldn't change it. 
because that's what made me who I am today. A proud Aaron High School graduate, Will cheered his namesake son, William III. The senior wide receiver was ready to get back on the Aaron football field this year after a knee injury kept him out for 18 months. He was hyped up, ready for me to get back. He just couldn't wait to see me back on that field. On little Will's first play back, he scored this dramatic touchdown. But instead of looking for his father in the stands like he normally would, Will pointed to the heavens. A simple gesture for a father taken away. He had big dreams. He had big goals for the fan. And I just want to finish it. Today my thoughts are more clear. To God I'm more near. I have no fear. In spite of what happened in 2020, this is my year. Darlene Poole has vowed to continue her husband's Facebook page and the work of Addiction Matters. In fact, the number of online visitors has exploded since his death, showing not only the impact of Will's life and death, but the need to keep his message alive.